They perform under the bright lights when on the field, court, and track. When they aren't wearing the mirror colors across their chest, they're the smiling face in the classroom. But there's so much more to these Pacers. Welcome to the Student Athlete Spotlight, presented by The Woodward. I'm your host, Spencer Goldschmidt, and alongside me, we have Laney Strom. Laney, how are we doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. So, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do here at Marywood. Um, okay, I'm from Shikshini, Pennsylvania. Um, it's a small town, 56 minutes away, and I play field hockey and run track and cross country here. So, in the fall, I'm in field hockey and practicing for cross country also. Um, in the winter, I'm doing indoor track and outdoor I'm doing, or in the spring, I'm doing outdoor track. Um, I'm an accounting student here and I'm pursuing forensic accounting. So I've had internships at different firms uh, locally and I'm looking to get into government work after Marywood. So why did you decide on coming to Marywood? Well, my visit with Coach Julie, I just came to Marywood to play field hockey. Um, my visit with Coach Julie was wonderful. So immediately after that visit, in the parking lot actually, I texted her and I committed. Uh, it was just such a great place. I felt very warm, um, very welcome. And um, there were lots of, obviously there's lots of schools, lots of options, um, but Marywood sticks out and I could definitely stand, my, stand by my decision. Um, it was a good one. So you said that you came here for field hockey and you ended up running track and cross country. Mm -hmm. um, but I saw that four semester, you did end up going to Kent State. Yes, I did. So, Couple different questions. Why did you, let's start with why did you start, or uh, why did you decide to go to Kent State? I decided to go to Kent State to see where running could take me, um, kind of elevate my level and just like explore. Um, you know, my time with Marywood, I had a great time my first two years, but I wanted to see what else was out there. Um, absolutely loved Kent State, go Flashes. Um, but yeah, I wanted to see what I could do um, if I took running a little more seriously. Um, I was in the MAC. That's a really steep conference. I um, wanted to see what I could do with those women next to me. So, okay, yeah. And then why did you decide on coming back to Marywood? Kent, and again, I loved it. Loved my teammates, loved my coach, um, and I loved the classroom, everything. But um, it was just something missing. Marywood really is my home, and Kent State was great, but it was not home. And it was so funny when we were getting on the cross country vans to like go to meets and stuff. I would always watch the field hockey team loading up their bus, and I would just was like, maybe I'll sneak on um, with them because I wasn't playing hockey at Kent. So that was another big factor too. Field hockey um, is just like very special, very close to my heart. So it was hard. I wasn't ready to let go of that. Um, but yeah, so glad I went. Don't regret it at all. But had to come home for sure. Since coming home, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you did it while you're here before. You were a part of the National Eating Disorder Association fundraising and awareness club. So why don't you talk about that a little bit? Upon coming to college, I like had really struggled with, um, you know, disordered eating and exercise addiction, and I had been being reached out by people and meeting people that were like affected by the same issues. So I thought it was a good thing at the time to like, you know, highlight to um, bring to, bring light to campus, talk about it. Um, since I left, we haven't been necessarily doing that, but I've seen other um, like really good causes pop up in its place almost. Um, Cole Johnson on the basketball team is running like the Black Student Union. Um, Raiden Francis of Cross Country is doing a sports psychology club. So lots of different interesting things going on. Um, but the Anita Club, you know, we just spent time on campus fundraising, educating. Um, we would donate to the National Eating Disorder Association to give them, give people resources to recover. I saw that you worked, I think you're on your third year working there at Sprinkles Ice Cream. Yeah. So what is your favorite ice cream? What is your favorite thing to serve the customers? Okay, um, I love a good classic cone with sprinkles. That's always fun. Um, and I love Sundays. Sundays are always fun. Um, we have like blizzard things and we have um, a 24 ounce option. And we have to make like, th it takes three times to make it to serve it. So those are not my favorite things to make, <laughs> but um, it's all fun. Yeah, but it's my fourth season there actually this past summer. That's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. You run cross country here, you run, you run track and field and you play field hockey. How do you balance being a three sport athlete and then also being a student? It is really tough, but it's a lot of planning and it's a lot of using the resources and support that are offered to me. Um, I mentioned before when I was coming here, like I felt so welcomed and supported, and I really am, everybody is. Um, if you just know how to use it, um, 
you know, I just try to make connections with my professors, um, plan, plan around practice, get to practice, get to the gym. Um, and it really is a lot to juggle, but like, there's a lot of my plate I want to eat though. So you have to work it out. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, it's like a, it's a joy to be that busy. Growing up, did you play field hockey when you were growing up, or was that something you picked up later? I started in eighth grade. Um, I did like a little bit of everything. I think cheer and gymnastics were my big sports as a kid, um, but then it turned to field hockey. Was there a athletic inspiration that kind of led you to field hockey, or someone that you tried to model your game after? Um, yeah, my friends in seventh grade, they were all busy every day after school and on the weekends because they had field hockey games. I was like, what is field hockey? and why can't anybody hang out with me? So I um, figured out what it was, started watching it. I was a big fan of uh, Kat Sharkey when I started watching. She's on the USA team, or was on the USA team. Um, she was a captain and a center forward. That was my position, is my position, and she wore 24, that's what I wore in high school. Um, so yeah, she was kind of like my first role model in the game. Now away from the field, away from the classroom, what do you do in your free time? I spend a lot of time with my mom, I love my mom. I love animals, I love movement, being outdoors. Um, I do love to exercise, you know, run, play, stuff like that, but walking, I love Zumba class here at Marywood. That's my favorite thing about Marywood, um, Vanessa's Zumba classes. Um, my roommates are the best, downtime with my friends, you know, the typical stuff that makes it. Let's say you're heading to a road game or you're heading to a meet and you're getting off the bus, you're doing your stretches, you have your headphones on. Mm -hmm. What is the last song you're listening to before the game starts or before the, the race starts? Uh, programs by Mac Miller. Any specific reason or is that just the go-to? Um, I'm a big Mac Miller fan. Um, never misses. And I don't know, that's just the energy you need when you're pulling up. So you, I also know that you have a Pirates tattoo. We were talking about it a little before we came on camera. Yeah. Um, you said earlier in the season that you love representing the Pirates, but then after a little bit, it turns into a Mac Miller tattoo. Yeah. Uh, besides that one, do you have any other tattoos? I do. I have eight tattoos. Um, you want a tour? Quick. Sure. All right. Sure. I have a couple on my arms. I have this from when I went to Nationals um, for Marywood. Uh, my sophomore year, it's the inside Nike logo of the shoe that I was wearing when I raced there. Um, I have a snake. I have the Pirates tattoo. I have some flowers on my arms. I have an angel. I have my mom's birth year, 1983. And I have another Mac Miller tattoo. It says, I love life, thank you, because words to live by. Uh, do you plan on getting any more soon, or? Uh, I've, my bank account allows for it, I'm <laughs> sure I will. Um, but not in the near future, no. Okay. Maybe after hockey season. All right, mm -hmm. so kind of a similar question. You're getting ready to get on the bus before a game, or? It's the morning of a race. What is the go-to pre-race or pre-game meal? Always a bagel. Um, bagel of some sort, whether it's like a banana peanut butter bagel or avocado bagel. Um, it's classic. You can't go wrong. What's the go-to bagel type, though? Everything. Everything's perfect. Yeah. If not everything, plain. Okay. Yeah. So, if I'm not mistaken, you're in your last year, correct? Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. either way, um, what are some plans you have after school? After school... Um, definitely just putting my head down and getting some work in, in a firm, um, some years, hopefully getting my CPA. Um, I would like to, like I said before, eventually get up to the government level, uh, hopefully the federal level of forensic accounting. I would just love to be, um, you know, on the internal money side of crime investigation. So, yeah. Excellent. And hopefully lots of travel, lots of travel, staying active, um, and keeping up. Is there anywhere you specifically you want to travel? I feel like I want to travel everywhere. Um, I've had the opportunity to just meet so many people through being here and at Kent, like with a bunch of different stories, backgrounds, places they've traveled to. Um, definitely anywhere in Europe, but maybe like Santorini, um, Italy. I'm going to try to hop on with the art kids this spring. <laughs> um, yeah. Lainey, thank you for coming on. Yeah, of course. That's going to do it for this edition of the Student Athlete Spotlight presented by The Woodward. Make sure to check out everything The Woodward has to offer by checking out our website. And make sure to like and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Vincent Goldschmidt, and as always, go Pacers.